What's going on, guys? As you can see, I started working on the end piece and completed the opposite side of the field that we had been working on. Like I had mentioned in the last video, there were no significant differences between what I did here and here. I just copied them straight over. And then I began working on this end piece. The end piece is of a different height, so today we're going to start these corners. Uh, we'll see how far we get into that and determine the height that we need to go back for this piece. First, I want to address the height that we need to go back for the end piece. And that is, as we can see in our map, it's a little bit uh, smaller than the side pieces were because of this right here. This is the wall that comes around and then it drops. It looks like about um, what appears to be about uh, 10 feet or at least at least three blocks. So we lose three blocks from the uh, I believe this is 59 from here to here we had we lose three blocks from that, that makes it about 56. Then kind of as we come over here, it, it measures just a little bit shorter than that. I'm not totally sure why. I I would think it would that would end up being three blocks shorter than 59. But 150 divided by 3, uh, I'm sorry, is that 150? No, 160 divided by 3 is 50. 59 is 5 blocks so somewhere between 3 and 5 blocks so I think the middle piece would be 4 blocks shorter if we go into Minecraft we've got this ends at this ends at a level of 31 yeah that's the best way is that the best way to measure it? no probably not yeah 31 it's 31 high so if we want to be four blocks short of that, I think there's two blocks for every uh, row that we go up. So that would be 26, the 27s, the 28s, and so on. The first 31, I believe, is the one that comes off of. So one, two, three. That's going to be the height that we keep these at, or the, uh, make the end piece here. So if we can do that, which won't take very long, I wouldn't imagine, then we can start on the corners. So I'll finish this up. There we go guys, there's the height of the end cap. You can see I've left a little bit off that, and a little bit off that, and a little bit off that, and a little bit off that. That's because that is where the original curve started. The original curves were all, if you go back, were measured from this block to this block. So I keep them in line all the way up, so my circles don't change as I go up. So let's go ahead and start with some of the cornering here, and see if we can get into that a little bit. So we load back up Mineconics at mineconics.net. And we can see where we left off was 22. All we do is enter 23, and then we'll put this pattern into the corner. We're going to do both corners simultaneously so we don't have to go back and do them. And if you do it right, those corners should easily connect. As you can tell, this is a very long, painstaking process. This is probably one of the longest processes that you'll, you will have to do. It takes a long time to build these corners up, especially as they get bigger, because you have to copy the pattern every time. So this is something that you've really got to grind out. This is uh, something I talked about in my tutorial video, is, is when you build these things, it's kind of a grind. And that's what, if, if it wasn't a grind, everybody would do it all the time, and everybody would be super good at it. But that's not the case not that many people to do it and this is why because it's very grindy it's also extremely important not to make mistakes and take your time when you do it 
what we're going to do is build these all the way up to at least the second bowl, and then we'll take a look and see how it looks. Alright guys, so it's impossible for me to convey exactly how boring that is, but it is really boring. I'm going to have to take a break from it. We're through the second level. Only one similar size level to go. And longer turns, and that's it gets really complicated and pretty boring. So the next thing we want to look at uh, between that and that is cutting some of these staircases and tunnels. I'm also going to make this video a little bit about that. So we go back to the map, which I will need to pull back up. We want to get a good idea of where all the staircases are. What I normally go off like what yard line that they are located at. You could also measure them out if you wanted to. So, on this side, we've already cut this one, this one, and this one. Let's clear up. Come on, I've got like 200 down here. Come on, let's go. All right, there we go. So, we've already cut this one, this one, and this one. I think we had an idea of where we were going to cut that one, around the 24-yard line. So, we can go ahead and cut those in. Then the next one low here is actually, it looks like on the goal line. On the goal line or one yard back. So, let's look at that. I believe we, I began cutting this one, I believe it was on the 25-yard line. Yeah, and I like that. So we'll cut this one up. Go ahead and get this whole lower bowl finished. We've got it all built. That means our tunnel will be right here, 3, 4, 5... Not the best place for it, but we'll make it work. This one was also on the 25, so straight up through here. If you remember, they are on uh, both sides of this middle piece are, are on a different curvature. That's why this one is seemingly a little bit more away from the center, even though it's on, on the same yard line. This, that side extends a little further because this side is a deeper turn. All right, now we said that. Oh. And then the tunnel will be right here. Once again, not the greatest place, but it'll be okay. Let's do 3.5. And then this one was pretty clearly on the goal line. And I like that. That's in a... Let's see. I like that. That's fine. 
we'll go ahead and cut these across here. Go ahead and take a look at the ends here. Uh, we know that one's probably straight up the center, and then we'll just measure the distance on these. Like uh, about 11 blocks in between them. Okay. So that can be done pretty easily. So this one will be on zero, clearly. And then they were 11. That's 11 blocks right in between them. So I'll do it on 12. So there's that. Okay, as for the second bowl here, looks like we've got the same running style staircase. It's not really centered on that one. It looks like it's almost going up. We also have to decide whether we want to build this tilt. I'm sorry, I hit my mic. Uh, we also decide whether we want to build this tilt in because if it was straight, it looks like it starts about the 12. It was, if it was straight, it would look like this. So there is that much curvature in it is about four blocks. We could build that in, or we could not. It's, I, it's really about the same either way. I normally do not build them in on straights. I normally just make them or on the straight side when they've got a little curve like this. I normally don't build a... Uh, Anything in, I'd just normally go straight. At least for the center ones, we'll stay straight. So we want it off the 11. We'll stay straight. We might do it for the next ones that go all the way up. Well, it didn't go all the way up from here. The next ones that go all the way up, we might start to curve them. I'll show you how to do that as well. That might be a good tutorial since uh, this stadium doesn't seem to have any uh, angled staircases. Okay, perfect there. We will go to the. Looks like it's right off. Yep. Or no, wait, we'll just build this one. It looks like it's almost off the end line. This one definitely is going to have to curve. It looks like there's a substantial. Oh, looks like there's a substantial distance from there. If it were straight, yeah, it's straight off the goal line at the bottom. But there's a pretty substantial built-in curve here. That's six blocks over 59, or no, maybe 59 minus about, I think this was 12. Divided by, and it looks like there's a six block, uh, six blocks of curve. So one every eight. Okay. So how we do that is we take how many blocks of here is 47, we want 6 blocks of curve, and we want to start it off of the back goal line, which is a 61. Start it right there, and we want to go 6, uh, we divided that and it come out to 8, divided the 47, that 47 rows by 8 total rows that we want it to curve, or no, 6 total rows, and that gives us that gives us 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we go sideways. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. It's very much like what we were doing uh, with those things right through there. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, Oh, yeah, that works out perfectly. That's nice. 
I like it when things work out perfectly. And of course we'll continue this once we build more of the curve there. Fill in these under blocks we probably should go underneath. Alright, perfect. They look pretty big here. And you can get an idea how that looks from the side there. Just like that. Alright. I might want to build in a quick tunnel here so we don't forget. There is definitely a tunnel off of this little guy, and there's a tunnel off of, th or there's a staircase off that one. Those are really close together for stairs. So, this guy has a tunnel. We'll go ahead and build it. And then that, oh, is that staircase coming up? Like, that staircase would be there. Well, that's going to look terrible. Gonna have to think about that one, guys. No, yeah, because the staircase would, no, it would come up and over. Okay, that's gonna be okay. All right. So our typical has looked like this. That should work for now. Okay, and then. There's a staircase that will go right here. And up like this. To the top. So this looks correct. So Executive decision. If I curve it in one, it'll go right up the side here. It won't look very good. Or if it's the stairs, the top block, it looks terrible too. You like to go in between the same level block if you can possibly do it. I believe that goes all the way to the top. It does. Interesting look. Okay, and there's another tunnel where this one comes in, but we'll wait to build that side. Okay, now I assume we can go ahead and build this little tunnel. Okay, so we've got the three bottom tunnels built. We've got three of them. We need one more on this side. And it goes on this one right here. And wow, there's a big open space. Yep, and then that one takes off. So let's build that go ahead and build that staircase that we had built here. There and we'll do the same eight by one and it's off sixty one. Let's go to the same place. So off of sixty one this one will look a little bit different. Uh okay. Break it up and go with it. And instead I'm just gonna make it straight up. Okay, perfect. To fix those exposed ones. This one will be two, two, three. No. Okay. See that one has a bit of curve to it. Now that one has one attached to its right. One more up here, too. I'm going to stick with the same method of building. Just like so. 
Okay, so this one also has a tunnel. And a staircase that wraps around it. Builds up. No, maybe not. No, that one does not have a staircase that wraps around it. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is add this one kind of random one that goes here. Now we need to add the tunnel. So we got that one. Yeah, we got those two. There's that random close one. This one. Off of... 39. Oh, when you know it, we'll have to do it off of 40. There's some slight non symmetry, but that'll be okay. Barely noticeable, especially with the differences in the, uh, the way the sides are curved. All right, fantastic. And then that one has one on the field side. So, okay, this is the first awkward tunnel we're going to have to build. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Don't quite follow the same building method for this one. One a little lopsided. So we'll do it like that. Now we need it. It's actually built like this, but looks bad but it'll be okay yeah. all right I believe that might be all of the tunnels that we can build right now okay so that's our side we will have to repeat that on that side which I'll just probably do in between this video and the next one. For now, we'll go back to completing these corners. That's really fun. Alright guys, for the sake of time, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. When we come back, I'll probably be finishing these corners up, and then we'll have the stands completely built. Just have to put in some staircases in these and some tunnels, which can be kind of tricky in the turns, but other than that, we should have the stands completed by next episode and we can start on brass boxes so i hope you've enjoyed a lot of fast forwarding as usual and i hope that you will tune in next time